Hi guys, welcome back. I wanted to give you an update on Diva's beautiful new baby, Daisy, who is now 10 days old. We've been on such a high since this kid's been born. We're so excited and she's so healthy and well. If you haven't had a chance yet to watch my last video, I'll link it below. We were able to make it to the birth and film the entire foaling. There was a big problem with her labor when it started. So if you want to see how that got corrected and watch this beautiful little girl make her entrance into the world, go give it a watch. It never ceases to amaze me when I look at her that she was inside her mom just a short time ago and how rapid her growth has been in such a short time. After the birth, we wanted to allow mama and baby time to bond, and once that's established, we like to start handling our foals right away. We are advocates of this, as it's far easier to teach them at an early age, rather than when they're much older and heavier and less willing to learn. Diva's going to teach Daisy all she knows about being a horse, and we take care of the other parts that Daisy will have to learn and do her entire life with humans. Now, Daisy doesn't know about humans. She needs to learn that we're safe and not a threat. Horses are prey animals, and they're born with incredibly strong instincts that nature gives them in order to survive. It makes them incredibly reactive, and they spook really easily. I like to compare it to trying to train Bambi. Now, we like to take it slow and let Daisy come to us and learn that she can trust. If you've got a baby that's comfortable around you and mom is relaxed, you'll be far ahead of the game. I like to start by spending time in the stall, and by doing that, she's going to see that Diva trusts me, and that's the first step. We simply just sit down and allow her to come to us. Our voices are calm. We don't make any sudden movements. Foals are very curious, and before you know it, she's making her way over, and eventually I'm rewarded with my very first smooch. And I didn't get this on video, just photos. Sorry, I wish I had. As trust begins to build, she's far less reactive, and she's eager to come up for neck scratches because she realizes she loves them. They feel good. And I'll eventually touch all over her body, continuing to desensitize her, doing a little bit more each time. This all doesn't happen in a day. Depending on your fool, it can sometimes take much longer. The next big step is getting her used to wearing a halter and learning how to lead. This little suckling halter is adorable and cheap and it fit really well. They can sometimes be hard to find and I'll link it below for you. From there, we progress to getting her used to picking up her feet as she will be getting visits from a farrier her entire life. And if you can teach a horse to stand still for a hoof trim or shoes, your farrier will love you. These are all really great fundamentals to start with early on in a foal's life. And as she gets older, we'll progress to more and more. Daisy's been an absolute joy to be around. They grow so fast and change so quickly at this age. And it's hard to keep up. And everything they do is so darn cute. She's spending her days exploring the big new world outside and all of its sights and sounds. She loves meeting the other horses, especially the mini. And she's discovered that pylons make really great scratching posts. She's full of energy and has definitely mastered using those nice long legs of hers. As always, we appreciate you being here and watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Go, Daisy. Show us what you got. Ooh, she did that on command. <laughs>